Colorectal cancer is asymptomatic. That's why screening is so important. But uh, later, cancer can develop signs and symptoms, bleeding, uh, blood in your stool, even later on, abdominal pain, erectile pain, and even much later on, nausea and other symptoms as well. Also, patients can be found to have an anemia if laboratory work is done, particularly if the cancer is fairly advanced. It can cause certain uh, hemoglobin levels or blood levels to be low. If you do have any of these signs or symptoms, bleeding, you know, there's blood in your stool, just abdominal pain, something that just not, does not seem appropriate, the best thing is probably to talk to your primary care physician and then they probably will direct you to someone to uh, evaluate you further. I mean, what's going to be needed next is a, a colonoscopy to evaluate you and rule out a, a polyp or, or, or a mass or a cancer. Other cancers that you know can have an association with colon cancer because there's a, a syndrome called Lent syndrome, which is kind of a cancer syndrome of different uh, different tumors or different cancers. Of course, colon, rectal, ovarian, uterine, certain types of uh, renal pelvis uh, tumors, uh, certain types of uh, pancreatic. Uh, or even upper GI tumors can be included in that as well. So if someone has a family history of any of these type of cancers, they probably should discuss this with their primary care physician or their gastroenterologist or colorectal surgeon as well, uh, because they may need screening much sooner than the typical age. Colonoscopy is fairly easy. You know, the day before, someone has to uh, drink uh, a solution called a PrEP, which cleans the colon out, which then allows the endoscopist to be able to see properly to perform the test. And the PrEP itself is not that difficult. You know, I've had to do three scopes myself. My own sister has had, had colon cancer, so I'm considered high risk. So there's been a big, big improvement in PrEPs over the last several years. The volume that you have to drink is a lot less. You know, it's not perfect, but it is much more tolerable than it used to be. And my sister and I were very close, and we had some discussions before she passed away. And I think it's very important for her that you know, we could help others avoid what she went through. I mean, I think in retrospect, she really had symptoms probably for years and really didn't put it together. I mean, she had change in her bowel habits and constipation. I mean, that's another symptom to look for. And, you know, it's fairly common in young women, uh, and, and most don't think anything about it. But in her, probably years before, she had developed some symptoms that were not completely, you know, appropriate. And she, she could have been screened earlier, probably. You know, if, it, if our tumor would have been caught sooner, you know, possibly she could have been treated for cure. And we could have avoided everything that she had to go through.